the man who wants to be the next governor of Missouri is firing up the voters. Look. Eric Greitens is under attack from Obama's Democrat machine. They're trying to steal another Missouri election. But Eric Greitens is a conservative warrior, and when he fights back, he brings out the big guns. That is a big gun. Here to tell us about his campaign, his former Navy SEAL, and the Republican candidate for the Missouri governorship, Eric Greitens, joins us today from St. Louis. Eric, good morning good to morning. you. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Great to be on with you. Hey, what's the reaction to that, uh, that ad where you got the big gun? The, ad, the reaction to the ad has been incredible. We've had tremendous support from people all over Missouri, and in fact, conservatives around the country who are glad to see a political outsider who's willing to stand up and fight against the failed political class. You know, uh, the message of the ad was really clear. We had the Democrat Governors Association and the Obama political machine come into a Republican primary to try and rig the election by spending $1 million against me in the last couple of days because they're afraid of a political outsider. They're afraid of a, of a proven leader who's coming in to shake up politics as usual and, and turn the state around. So people really like to see that we're willing to stand up uh, to fight for conservative principles and, and that they got behind us, as you can see, in a big mm -hmm. way because we had a very successful night last Tuesday. That's yeah, right. what, do the, what are the polls showing? Because I know you're running against a Democrat and you're the running AG. because the, the, exactly, the AG of your state. The incumbent is Jay Nixon, but he served the maximum amount, so he can't run again. What are the polls showing? Uh, the polls are looking great. The first poll that came out uh, had us essentially tied. Uh, and we just finished a Republican primary. Um, our opponent, Chris Coster, is a career politician, spent over 20 years in politics. Which, by the way, the we did ask him to come on. We, Eric, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we did ask him to come on, and, and sure. we never heard back from him. Right, and, and I, I'm not surprised. This is the guy who is the chief law enforcement officer during Ferguson failed our police officers there. This is a guy who's, who's failed to show up at Ferguson, failed to lead there. He failed to lead at the University of Missouri. Missouri is 47th in economic growth over the course of the last decade. And we just finished a, a bus tour where we did over 150 town halls and events. And I can tell you, the people of Missouri are standing up. Mm -hmm. They recognize that the political class has failed us. And they want bold new ideas from a leader who's coming in from outside of the political establishment. Well, you are outside the political establishment. Eric, what kind of a governor would a former Navy SEAL be? Well, look, as a former Navy SEAL, as an entrepreneur who started and run my own business, as the founder and CEO of The Mission Continues, which you guys have talked about, one of the mm -hmm. nation's leading organizations to help our veterans come home and to reintegrate successfully, I'm going to be a leader who builds teams and get it's results for the people of Missouri and their families, and that's what they're looking for. They are tired of the same old rhetoric. They're tired of the failed political class. They need a leader who's going to clean up Jefferson City, who's going to make sure that we've got safer streets and safer neighborhoods. They want to have a leader who's going to make sure that our kids get a quality education and a leader who's going to make sure that we've got an economy with more private sector paychecks and bigger private sector paychecks, and that's what I'm going to do as governor. Show me the paycheck <laughs> from the show me state. Eric Greitens, who's running for yes. governor. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Eric. We wish you all the best. Hey, thanks for having us, guys.